Maybe it happened to you. And then time and time again, when you try to buy the house, doesn't work. Yeah, you're beaten out by that cash offer. So Fox 19 now investigative reporter Candace Hare has been digging into how often this is happening right now in the Cincinnati area. She joins us now with what she learned. Yes, Trisha Megan, a woman that I spoke with tells me that on 13 separate occasions, she's went to make an offer on a home and has been beaten out by all cash buyers. She tells me it's been an exhausting and emotionally draining ride. And when I looked up at the data, I learned she's not the only one. So I actually had a conventional loan. I was able to pay 20, even 30 or 40 percent down on some of these properties, and it just still wasn't enough. Erin Jamison tells me she has a master's degree, a job that pays well and only spends money on essentials. Buying a home wasn't a dream, but rather an expected step in her life until it wasn't. A lot of times I didn't even have a chance to bid on a house. Um, this would be because I would go to the house the day of an open house and they would already have cash buyers. And so it's really hard to compete with that. Last year, over 19% of greater Cincinnati homes sold were to all cash buyers. It's a trend that has continued this year. And that makes it very difficult for those that do need to finance their purchase. Um, it makes it very difficult for them to compete against. So uh, we, we're still seeing a lot of outside investors that are coming in and, and making those cash purchases and uh, in an effort to, you know, they're, whether they're renting them or whether they're actually flipping them. But in, this, in, in a lot of instances, a lot of them are, um, are rental situations. That number of all cash home purchases last year nearly mirrors the percentage of homes in Cincinnati bought by investors. Does it feel like for just a regular person that it's not possible to keep up with the investors? I think for the average person, especially looking at even median income in Ohio, it's it's not possible. Typically, our members are taking sometimes the worst house on a street or in a neighborhood and improving it. Deborah Collins with the Real Estate Investors Association of Greater Cincinnati says in her experience, property investing has become more popular. She tells me that investors, so long as they abide by regulations in place, can benefit communities. Just two years ago, my company purchased a property that had been vacant for two, 10 years and had been broken into a number of times and run down and not well kept. And the neighborhood was grateful when we came in and were able to get that rehabbed and sold to a nice family and providing um, property taxes to the county again. Data from real estate brokerage Redfin shows nationwide the number of homes being purchased by investors has dropped slightly, but still sits higher than pre pandemic levels. It's a decrease that isn't happening quickly enough for people like Aaron. It is just this sinking feeling after a while and after a while it's kind of resignation. I just told my realtor is going to take a couple months off because it's really emotionally draining. It's financially draining, even just spending the gas to go to these places. And it starts feeling like you're never going to be able to save enough in order to get a house. So, of course, there are many factors in play in any market. And in this market dynamic, we're seeing a lack of homes for sale as well. Both data from Redfin and the real estate agent that we spoke with say there are less homes for sale in Cincinnati, which, as you would imagine, would make things more competitive. And that real estate agent I spoke with tell me that that is in part due to a spike in interest rates and home construction delays. Candace Hare, Fox 19 now. Candace, thanks. The new red spot.